Is losing your keys always making you late? No, because as a normal human being, I can actually remember where I put my stuff. Misplaced wallet or purse frustrating? So I got a question. How did those purses and wallets end up under all that furniture anyway? I mean, there's nothing else under there. It's not like it looks like it's a place where a bunch of shit falls down there anyway. So what, did the magic gnome come by and like steal your wallet and put it under your furniture? You'll never lose anything ever again with Magic Finder. Really? Anything? I just recently had a relative die. Can I use Magic Finder to find their soul? Keep Magic Finder with the item you want to track. Damn. Well, anyway, before we look at the rest of the infomercial, I think we should take a look at the product itself. So let's move right on to the unboxing. So here it is, the Magic Finder. So let's see what we get. Right off the bat, when we're looking at the packaging, it says that it has radar, sight and sound, and two-way tracking. We'll go over those a little bit later, but let's see what we have on the back. So on the back, it shows you a picture of the radar mode. Um, it shows you that the thing has a little red LED in it, and it shows that you can press a button on the actual Magic Finder itself to find your phone. Um, it tells you that you need some kind of Bluetooth low energy compatible smartphone, which basically just means that make sure your smartphone isn't old as hell and you're fine. Um, it comes with a one year uh, battery, which I highly doubt if you have this thing on all the time and it's Bluetooth because Bluetooth drains the hell out of your phone, so I don't see why it wouldn't drain the hell out of your Magic Finder. Um, you can track eight items, eight items at once. I didn't buy eight of these damn things, so I'm not going to bother trying to test that. And it works up to 150 feet, which I find slightly um, unprobable uh, due to the fact that Bluetooth devices tend not to work past like 15 feet anyway. Well, so what do you get on the inside of this thing? Well, when we open it up, you get your little instruction booklet, which I've already taken the liberty of reading, so whatever. And you get your little Magic Finder keychain device. Well, that's about it for the actual device itself. So, let's take a look at actually, oh, and it just started falling apart. Well, let's actually see if this thing actually works. Magic Finder can find lost items in an incredible three different ways. Using the radar screen, you can track distance to your lost item. So let's see if the distance tracking works. I'm going to take my Magic Finder here and put it on my keychain. And let's just say that I lose my keys. So I'm going to put them at the end of this tape measure, which is measuring 12 feet. So let's go see. As of right now, according to the application that you get with the Magic Finder, my keychain is zero feet away. So let's see if it actually will track how far your keys are from your Magic Finder. So I'm going to put the phone here on the floor. I'm going to put the Magic Finder 12 feet away. What does the Magic Finder say? It still says that my keys are zero feet from me. You can also enable Magic Finder to blink and ring so you can find lost items by sound. The next thing that the Magic Finder says that it can do is it can track by tapping on what I have linked it to. So right here I have my Magic Finder listed as keys. They are still 12 feet away over there by the door. So I'm gonna tap on this and hit find it. Now let's see if anything happens. Let's try this again. Let's tap on find it. Nothing appears to be happening. All right. So I'm going to back out and let's retry opening the program here. So I'm going to get rid of this. Let's open the application again. Maybe this will help. It still says that it has connected to my keys, which are over there. Oh, oh! apparently I'm out of range, 12 feet away. And if you lose your cell phone, you can activate Magic Finder to set off an alarm on your phone so you can find it in seconds. Okay, last test. This time we're gonna see if I can find my phone using the Magic Finder's two-way function. So. As we see, it has connected to my Magic Finder keychain attachment thing. So I'm going to go take my phone and put it over there at 12 feet. I'm going to come back, hit the button, and let's see if it'll find it.
All right, here we go. Oh, we actually got something. How about that? So, it says that your keys have been tracked by a smart device. All right, well, at least one of the three features worked. So, what is my final opinion on the Magic Finder? Well, I do not think that this thing is worth $20. Frankly, I don't think it's worth 5 Out of the three functions that it was supposed to be able to do, it only did one of them. And even after I showed that clip of it working, I tried it a few more times and I couldn't get it to work. I just figured I wouldn't bother showing you guys. Um, so even at that, the one function that it does do, it doesn't do it 100% of the time. It does it like one out of four tries. Um, and on top of that, if you don't have the application actually running on the phone at the time, it doesn't even connect to it. So if I had this phone and let's say... I'll unlock it here. If I close out of this application completely, like so, and then I hit this button to track my phone, it doesn't work. As you can see, it doesn't do anything. So for this thing to even be able to track your phone, you have to have this Magic Finder application on 100% of the time, which is complete bullcrap. So my final verdict for this thing is probably like a 1 out of 10. I mean, it's just garbage. It's not worth the money. It feels really cheaply made. I mean, this little battery cover on the back you saw at the beginning of the video, it fell right off from me just holding this. Uh, you're supposed to be able to take a screwdriver and open this up, but if I just take my thumb, I'm not even going to press on it. I'm just going to slightly rotate it like that. It falls off. So, I mean, this thing is just made like garbage. It's, it's, it's horribly made. You know, it's made in China, but even for China standards, I think this thing is quite crap. They tell you you can put it in your wallet and, you know, everything else. So here I have my wallet. You know, it's only about that thick. But then when I'm going to stick this thing in there, I mean, look at this thing. It's like half the, half the, you know, thickness of my wallet. So if I put this thing in my wallet, you know, look at that. That's unacceptable. You know, and this is like the second revision. You know, this isn't even the one that they showed you in the video. This is like the new one. So the fact that they made it even thicker and worse than the original is, you know, quite astonishing to me. So my final verdict is like a 1 out of 10. Don't buy it. You know, if you have a problem with, you know, losing your stuff, go out and buy an actual, like, name brand reliable device that you can use to track your items uh, with some kind of method like Bluetooth or you know whatever the hell else devices that they have out there available that does this similar type of features. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, Does It Work? Episode 2 where I review the Magic Finder. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what you think in the description below. Have a nice day.